Hey everybody, how you all doing? My name is Jan. Uh, greetings from south of Italy where I live. I'm a beginner painter. Yeah, I'm just putting together some gear. I started uh, three weeks ago. Uh, and I believe that uh, good quality can speed up the process and, and make the thing uh, enjoyable, which I think is uh, the most important in the end. Um, I heard that uh, people speak highly of Lucas colors. Um, they are made of uh, high quality pigments. There is some uh, added beeswax that's supposed to mm, preserve the art. Uh, also, apparently the art is not going to get moldy and, uh, and other stuff. They are known for its consistency. Uh, so I decided to get some. I paid for it with my own money and I've ordered this uh, limited edition 160 year anniversary set by Lucas 1862 inspired by this guy yeah Van Gogh um, I mean I love him what can I say <laughs> his, his art is amazing um, so apparently this should be some of his uh, pigments of choice uh, he himself apparently used uh, Lucas colors uh, some of the pigments for sure uh, it's even mentioned in a letter which is uh, displayed in this leaflet that came in the box with the colors um, so yeah uh, the reason I'm making this review is that uh, I couldn't, I couldn't find the information what is in the box before I bought it. So I would like you to have this information. I think it's useful. Uh, so let's just look at the individual pigments. Um, so it's a set of 10 colors, 37 mil. Uh, the first one you are getting is a zinc white, semi-opaque. You can see the pigment here. And they are made in UK for Lucas. So not in Düsseldorf anymore. Somebody makes them for Lucas in UK. Um, I've used this for the first time yesterday. Um, wonderful. For the sea or sky. Amazing. Why not? Um, the next one is permanent yellow light. Semi-opaque. To follow with nice bright cadmium orange opaque I believe this is original pigment as it should be so this is actually a good tube like the others of course um, vermilion deep semi opaque It's a great addition to what I've already got. Uh, the classic ultramarine, transparent. The next one, the next blue is cobalt blue, um, semi opaque. And of course, the Prussian blue, which Fango loved and used in Starry Night and many other works. The one that he loved on the Japanese prints that inspired him a lot in his style. Emerald green, used yesterday for the first time. Wonderful. For like tropical seas, or I, I don't know, I, I just only started, but it works for me. Um, yellow ochre, semi opaque. And finally, the burnt amber. It's probably one of my favorites. I, I use a lot of this. Um, semi opaque. Yeah, 
so here you have it um, I'm not going to review individual colors because <coughs> because I don't need them at the moment but I, I'll, I will show you one which I already premixed just to make this video shorter um, so in the left corner we got Lucas Ultramarine Blue and in the right corner Michael Harding uh, I guess you know Michael Harding it's amazing I'm not anyhow comparing these two I just want to show you the level of pigment that is in Lucas compared to something which is amazing and uh, I'm not an expert by no means but it's beautiful I like them both I mean look at it yeah again the left is Lucas right is Harding it's mixed with a titanium white uh, which I have by Lefranc Bourgeois it's a convenient uh, big one uh, works for me I like the consistency so yeah guys uh, I hope you found uh, this information helpful and uh, if you like this video and you want to see more just uh, just tell me like it comment subscribe and uh, I hope that I will be able to show you some some good quality artwork uh, some <laughs> sometime soon take care guys ciao